Hello all my hot sauce homies and welcome back. Today's uh, hot sauce shirt shout out is Arthur Wayne hot sauces. Uh, so go check those out. We'll be reviewing soon. So welcome to my kitchen. In the words of the Beatles, it's been a long and winding road down the road of spicy shock. Tonight is the last installment of the Spicy Shock series. What could we possibly have left, you may ask? Well, burr, 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 burr. the wing sauce. That's it. I mean, I feel like we've been through so much. It's gonna be really, really hard to move on. I don't know if I can. I don't know what moving on is gonna feel like. But for the last time, at least for a while, Less spicy shock. Eat the heat, savor the flavor. We use all natural, mindfully selected ingredients that are locally sourced from the U.S. of A. Good on you, spicy shark, good on you. And organic whenever possible. Our sharks are handcrafted and never contain artificial preservatives, colors, or flavors. The spicy sharks are fiercely unique, bold, vibrant, yet flavorful, and balanced. Spicy Shark Mission. To make the best tasting and unique spicy products using the best ingredients to help preserve and improve the lives of our ocean sharks and to have a lot of fun along the way. Sauces for causes are always the best sauces. You can quote me on that. So, here we are with the wing sauce. And of course, there's only one way to enjoy a wing sauce. And that is on a cheeseburger, of course. Just kidding. We're doing wings tonight. So, Welcome to Katie's Kitchen. No, not that kind. Please, no one try and come after me. Katie B's Kitchen. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and read about the wing sauce. All right. The only thing that makes this one different from, no, not all the rest. I was about to say something that's incorrect. I was about to give you fake news. My profound apologies. I think I caught myself. I'll shut up and read now. Eat the heat, savor the flavor. The Spicy Shark Original Sauce is our dairy-free twist on a traditional wing sauce. Sweet red peppers meet spicy cayenne peppers. Get that out of the way. With a garlic and vinegar bite. My mail. Okay. Goes great with chicken wings, naturally, and poultry. Sandwiches, salmon or salmon. Vegetables, rice, and beans, and any dish in need of flavor and heat, which to me is pretty much all of them. Shake before use, refrigerate after opening, relax, calm down. Separation is normal. Vegan, gluten-free ingredients made in the U.S. of A. They thought of everything. Ingredients. <clears throat> Onion, sunflower oil, bell pepper, water, cayenne pepper, garlic, maple syrup, and again, always one rando ingredient that throws me off. Maple syrup, all right. Red wine vinegar, jalokia pepper, apple cider vinegar, scallions, oh, I love scallions, lime sugar, avocado, avocado, cilantro, lime juice, celery salt, fruit pectin, tarragon, parsley salt, thyme oil. All right, so tonight I'm not gonna do what you think I'm gonna do, which is pull out my, my spoon from the big lots and sample this off the spoon. No, no, nay, nay. Tonight, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cook these wings over here, over yonder, over her, and we're gonna sample it that way. So, righty daddy. So, let's she on. Bowl. She on. Bowl. Chicken in bowl. Without bag. She can in bowl without the bag. Much better. So, I don't usually do this. Usually my husband does this, but he got addicted to Fallout and I haven't been able to get him back. So, my shikon looks a little moist and I don't like it. So, I'm gonna pull out my handy dandy salt shaker. Isn't pretty? <laughs> I have a matching pepper shaker too. But, we're just gonna take this adorable salt shaker here and put some salt Dang on it. Oh my God, I shouldn't have done that, but that's what I did it. 
We're gonna get that soap all up in there. Yeah, I, I think that's what I should have done. Is that what I should have done? That's what we're doing. Okay, now the time has come for our spicy shock. I feel like it's like the last kiss from a boyfriend or something. Like I know this is the last time we're gonna be together. Beep. All right. It's like I know that we're gonna wake up tomorrow and go to separate colleges. <laughs> so sad. Beautiful consistency, got a little bit more going on to it, as you can see, than the typical wing sauce. I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, freshness guaranteed. In true spicy shark uh, nature, it smells delicious. It smells vinegary, it smells well blended. Oh God, yeah, man, that's gonna be good. So because I suck at camera angles, here she goes. Look at that pour. Look at that. Oh my God, look at that. Look at it. In the words of one of my favorite YouTubers and uh, fellow hot sauce lovers, Justin Demented, mix it, mix it. Get it all mixed up in there. I don't know what I'm doing. I bet I'm making some people that work in the restaurant industry cringe, but I'm doing the best I can with what I've got, okay? How they do it at Hooters? I'm not. I'm just. I tried. Hi, all my hot sauce homies. So it turns out that you put seasoning and sauce on the wings after you cook them. Look who, <laughs> look who broke their addiction to Fallout. Coming in to save it. Just relax. <laughs> Isn't it great? The boy has saved the day. Out of the oven. Ooh, 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 ooh. Fresh out of the oven. Yeah. So, we got the wings all cooked. And as it turns out, uh, when making wings, you put the sauce on after you cook it. <clears throat> so, the boy says I'm no longer allowed to do it by myself. Y'all want to tell the people where you learned how to make such exquisite wings? Are you fired? Working at Hooters in high school? Oh, yeah, there was that, too. I thought that would be memorable, but I guess not. Of course, no, then again, really, really wasn't. Rock Hill, South Carolina. <laughs> you should come check it out. Yeah. Wings and bowl. Wings and bowl. With sauce. Handsome boy. Pour sauce on chicken. Oh, look at the pour, look at the pour. It's splashing, it's beautiful. This is apparently the right way to do it. Like this. Am I doing it? Aha. See, that looks better. Yeah, cooked. And isn't that how you do it? I thought that's how they did it. You can just, you. <laughs> That's not how I do it. Look, check it out. It's it's done. Oh, that's done. Is... done. Not as fun. It smells like heaven, though. Oh my god, yeah. Right? See. All right. For the best part, the tasting. Oh, sweet Jesus! Are you ready? Mm, I'm starving. Now I haven't sampled this off a spoon. I did not pull out my big lot spoon. We're sampling on wings. I like the flappers. I'm gonna take that. Okay. Okay. Spicy Shark, thank you so much. It has been an awesome ride. The sauces have been incredible. The syrups have been amazing. The honey is out of this world. And let me tell you what I think about the wing sauce. Cheers. Well, it's sweet and delicious and tangy. Mmm. The maple syrup makes it so it sticks to the wing really, really well. And it gives it a little bit of a sweetness. But then when that sweetness goes away, you start getting the saltiness, the vinegariness, and that bite of a buffalo wing sauce. Mm. So just like everything else that comes from the spicy shark, 
It is what you'd sort of expect with a little bit of a twist and a little bit of a twist is the maple syrup. Wonderful. Your thoughts? Mmm. -hmm. You like it. Mm -hmm. So, guys, thank you so much. Spicy Shirt, wonderful product. Absolutely delicious. Very well done. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. It's been a blast. See you next time. God bless. And y'all take care now, you hear.